Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I want to show you how you can record your computer screen and a webcam at the exact same time. It's completely free, it works across Windows, Mac, and Linux, whatever your OS is, this will work. Okay, well let's jump to it. Here I am on my desktop and uh, what you're going to do first is you're going to open up a browser. So I'm just going to open up a new browser and we're going to go to the website obsproject.com. Now you have lots of different screen recording software out there. You have things like EasyVid, you have Camtasia. Uh, many of them cost money, some of them have ads, some of them even have malware. Uh, OB OBS, this is something that when you read on different forums and you ask about what is the best screen recording software, this is one that always bubbles up to the top and this is one that people tend to universally uh, recommend. First step is you're gonna choose the operating system that you're on. I happen to be on a Windows computer so I'm gonna click on Windows. Uh, and then the download will kick off. So here in the bottom left hand corner, you see that the install is going on. So I'm just gonna let that complete. Um, if I had a gigabyte internet connection, this would be done already. My internet's not that fast. Um, so we just need to sit here and wait a little bit. I feel like we need to play the Jeopardy music or something like that. I think it's done now. All right, uh, here, do you wanna allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, I do. Uh, so I'm gonna minimize my browser and I'm just gonna go through the install steps here. I get a license agreement. Uh, looks good, let's go with it. And it's just telling me where it's installing. Uh, it's gonna be about 234 megabytes. Uh, it's gonna be OBS Studio. Sure, let's go ahead and install. And that's extracting the package and installing the app. And as soon as it's done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that I wanna launch it as soon as this finishes installing. I hope all of you are gonna be recording fun things. Like hopefully, hopefully you're gonna be playing games with a webcam on there, um, or maybe you're doing tutorials like this one. Uh, so here, it looks like it finished installing. I'm gonna go ahead and launch. This will bring up OBS Studio. So this is the default screen that you get when you uh, first launch it. It might look a little complex, but uh, stick with it. I'll, I'll walk you through how to set it up so you can record your screen um, and webcam at the same time. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is you'll see that a scene is set up. Um, you also see that you have sources. So what we wanna do first is we're gonna click on the plus button because we wanna add um, a source. So I'm gonna click on plus and what we wanna do is first we wanna capture the desktop here. Uh, so I'm gonna go down and this is called display capture, this option here. This is my display, that's what we're capturing. So I'm gonna click on display capture. I'll, sure, I'll leave the default name that we have. Uh, and then here it pulls in my display into there and it, it looks like it uh, shows me the resolution that it's recording at and I'm gonna click on okay. Um, so there you can see what the screen recording is gonna capture. So I have my display there, but I don't yet have my webcam. So how do we get the webcam on there? And what we're gonna do is click on the plus button again for sources. This time I'm gonna go down to video capture device. That's what's referred to as my webcam. It's a video capture device. I'm gonna click on that. I'll just leave the default name there. And what's nice is it detects that I have this Microsoft LifeCam HD 5000 uh, connected to my computer. So I'll just go ahead with that one. I could also go through, I could configure the video, um, I could adjust the different settings, but all of that looks great. So I'm gonna click on okay. Uh, now you can see my desktop here and it shows my desktop image in the back and then I have this webcam image. What's kind of neat is I could drag this around so I could make it really big so you get lots of Kevin, hey guys. Um, or I can make it smaller. So here I'm gonna make it smaller. A lot of times what gamers do is they'll kind of create like a little square and then you put it down in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I just have this little square down there. A few of the other things that I wanted to walk through, let's click on file and I'm gonna go up to settings. A few other things that you should know is um, I'll click on output. Uh, one of the things you'll see here is by default, um, you have these uh, different recording formats. By default, it goes to FLV. Um, I like recording to MP4 because my video editing software uh, that I use accepts MP4 files. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Um, and then you can also see where it puts your video files. So here it's sending it to my C drive to users, Kevin, and then videos. Um, here I could also browse it and see where the videos uh, go. Um, but that all looks good to me. Uh, what we're also gonna take a look at is, uh, you'll see in this mixer area, you have a few different uh, options. Um, I have my desktop audio. And so this is if I'm playing a game or if I'm running a program, that's the basically the system audio or the, or the machine, the sound from the computer. I also have this mic auxiliary down here and you'll see that this, this, this color bar is going up and down. This is my microphone for my webcam, so I could, I could adjust the volume by moving this uh, scroll bar down here, but I'll just leave it on high so I get both the uh, camera audio and then I also get the system audio on there. Um, and then over on the right hand side, I could click on start recording. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit start recording and, oops, 
I'm gonna click on start recording and now it's recording my screen. So if I minimize it, I won't see the webcam down there, but the webcam is very much recording. Uh, so since we're since this is a video where we're gonna record my screen and capture video, I'm gonna I'm gonna load up a game here. This is the game that I recently picked up called Park Attack. It's a, a similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon, but you build a an amusement park. Uh, so here we are. You should hear the uh, the audio from the game. You should also um, hear me talking as well. I'm gonna go and load a park that I worked on before. Uh, Mystic Oasis. This is a theme park in the desert. And I feel like since I'm doing one of these screen recording videos with my webcam, I should I should add some interesting commentary as I'm playing my game. Uh, but here we are on my big map. Uh, you can see my amusement park. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn off my speakers so that sound doesn't uh, mess with my voice recording. Um, but here you can see the uh, this theme park I built. Here's a wing coaster. Um, look at that thing flying around, and um, you should see my picture down there. And oh boy, look at that free fall tower. Man, that thing would be scary to go on. I wonder how much are we charging people to go on this? Oh, we're charging them $6 to go on this ride. Um, that's uh, that's kind of pricey, but um, hopefully it's fun. And then, oh, here's a uh, free fall coaster. So there's a, a little section that just goes uh, straight down. So that's uh, that's pretty intense. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, this is my amusement park. Hope you guys like it. Okay, so enough of the enough of the playing. We're gonna go back to the desktop. Maybe one of these days I'll do some game playing. We'll see. Um, and put up videos. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and quit this uh, and go back to the desktop. Uh, so I'm going to open up the OBS software again. Here you can see I'm back on my desktop and I'm going to click on the stop recording. Uh, and that, that now successfully recorded that game, that segment that I was playing. Uh, but this will work in any type of application if you're in a full screen game. It'll work if you're in an application. It'll work if you're in the browser. So any type of software, um, it'll be able to capture. Um, so I stopped the recording. What I could do is if I click on the file menu, I'm going to click on show recordings. And here's my recording. I'm going to pull that up real quick. Yeah, so, so there you see, I'll turn the speakers back on. So there you, I, I could hear myself talking. Uh, but here I could go through, I could see the game. And, and so there you see my video um, on top of the screen capture. Um, and, and so it, it kind of worked uh, just as expected. Um, I don't, probably not really the, the best uh, game video person right now, but we could work on that. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's as simple as it is. Um, OBS uh, Studio, it's a uh, uh, OBS Studio, great piece of software. Like I said before, it's free, it's open source, no ads, it's very powerful. Even beyond just video recording, uh, you could also do things like streaming onto Twitch or uh, Facebook, YouTube, it also does live streaming. Uh, it's extremely powerful, but this is just some of the simple functionality that you could use uh, to capture your computer screen and also get a webcam on there uh, at the same time. So kind of a, a cool combination. Anyway, hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, love it if you could share a video that you make using this. Uh, feel free to post it in the comments. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new videos like this come out. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. It really makes my day when I see a like come in. Um, but that's it. Also, just want to call out, I, I do read all the comments that come in. I also reply to a lot of the comments that come in. Uh, one of the funny ones that I've seen recently is a lot of people think I look like Connor Murphy. Um, I think I probably do. I've looked at pictures and we do have resemblance. Unfortunately, I need to work on my body a little more uh, before I could say I'm the complete package. Uh, but right now, I'm probably a skinny version of Connor Murphy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye.